Hey guys, it's P-I-E-N-D-E-O, and we are going to do more missions. This is a die-hard mission. You play as some guy in a building who walks with a limp. You must watch out for broken glass. It damages your foot bar. Nah. What the Die Hard challenge is, is you can't die. And you may be wondering, what the heck? Basically, in the regular stages, if you die, you just go back. For the most part, it gets annoying in other stages. But in this stage, they basically just tell you off for it. Other than that, you play through the regular stage and I should totally... Other than that, they changed up a few of the blocks, but that's about it. Basically, they spawn a few fire thingies to annoy you. Oh, I wonder if I can get that. Oh. Since you can't die, it's going to get a little bit annoying. If you're not good at this. Okay, can we get that? Yeah. I just jumped this. <laughs> Jump it. So anyway, we got the three fire cells. That's cool. Just made it. Ooh. So anyway, we're going to be going through a lot of these missions just to kind of beat the game, because that's what we're doing. For the most part, most of them are not required, but you have no kind of clue where, which ones beat the game and which ones just sit there. So anyway, thankfully, at the beginning, it's okay. Anyway, you may be going, don't break the jar, what? Is there a king in one of them? Nah, basically what, what we're going for is that special challenges that make no sense in the context of the game. Shut up! Shut up, this is totally not a tech demo. That's the mini turbo, by the way. It's a lot of the turbo, eh? Oh well, yeah, we're going backwards. Y'all ready for this. I do like going through stages backwards, that's very cool. Right? Fire Soul! Yeah! I know I missed the other one, but that was on top of the pot, and I was gonna not risk it. Top of the pot! Good old using the home attack to cross gaps. Here's something tricky. Whoa. 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 Yeah, one thing, if we were chasing Raise the gin for the thingy while we play in the same stages again. I don't know. Oh, look, level up. Oh, oh, look, another level up. No, we're not getting another one. <laughs> so, anyway, we got the turbo boost that, it, that actually increases our top speed, which is fun. And this is the power collector, which is pointless right now. We also got a new special page, special book page. Oh, yeah, there's a party mode, by the way. I thought you'd like to know that. <laughs> Totally not gimmicky. Yeah. <gasps> Double like so much mark. Oh, thank you. I thought I was done for. Tails? What are you doing here, too? Tails? My, my name is Alibaba. What the Come heck? Come on, Tails. I know it's you. I'm very sorry. He seems to have mistaken you for someone else. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. I don't know how many two-tailed foxes I'm exist, but sleeves. apparently now it's two. Got some tricks up my sleeves. Tails! If what you sleeve? Help in return, it would be the least I could do to repay you. Thank you. The only thing you're wearing is something on your head that I don't know what it's named for, and I feel like if I say something, I'll probably offend some people, so I'm not going to say anything. I'll just say it's a headwear. 
Holy snap, we're on the main menu. What stage are we doing? I believe we're going for... Uh, I believe we're doing this one where you have to break jars? Oh, now we're breaking jars. Jeez. We're the troublemaker, ain't we? So anyway, well, I'm going to equip the Togo Boost, but I'm not going to equip the Pearl Collector because you can't. Now we've gone to the stage where you can't equip everything at once, and that's the trouble because a lot of later upgrades, such as I believe when we get to like level 10, we'll get something that it costs like six, and eventually we'll get whole ones that cost like 20 points. You're only going to get a few points each stage. Oh look, a different bit of the stage. So anyway, we'll be running faster, that's good. So maybe we picked it up. Again, the short jump is your friend. Oh, my friend, the short jump. Now, I'm not saying all the missions are easy, but the ones in the story are mostly the easier ones. There's a lot of tricky missions later on. They're like the Warrior Land level, if you know what I mean. They'll just be like blood curdling hard. Whoop. There you go, I got it. Holy snap, the mission is complete. So you may be wondering, when the heck are we getting out of the Sand Oasis? Well, one experience screen later, Holy snap, a new world! And a new a mission! A whole new world! A whole new world! Where is that from? Aladdin. Oh, wow! Wow! Lead it in there. Anyway, we got a new stage! Holy snap! This one's called Dinosaur Jungle. Um, hold on, are we in the Arabian Nights or Jurassic Park? Seriously. What has Dinosaur Jungle got to do with Arabian Nights? Seriously. Anyway, I like the stage. Maybe it's because they do things Crash Bandicoot style at the beginning. Like we haven't been doing anything else this game. Um, totally not suggested. So we just dodge the middle guy and then you gotta dodge these cacti, because cacti are your biggest enemy. Oh look, a bridge! Obviously it'll be the safest thing ever. And the no in the subtitles doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I guess it was. Well, these rocks don't hurt, which is nice. Yeah, a lot of I was about to say coins. You get a lot of rings here, but unfortunately, someone decided to make the limit pretty low. The balls that don't have spikes. Um. So anyway, yeah, that was completely optional. Oh yeah. There's a lot of kind of side. Back it up. And now you've gone to the bad bit. When you miss something cool and you want to go back for it, it's kind of awkward. Alright, here's something. Kind of controls a bit awkward there. Oh, you missed the really cool bit too, where you run around this bit. You got five soul, but it's good. So anyway, Dinosaur Jungle is a bit of a tough stage, actually, when you think about it. There's a lot of deadly traps, such as these iron balls that magically spin around this twig. At least since it's on rails, you never go on where the heck am I going, even though it happens a few times in the game. So yeah. Holy snap flowers! They spit killer tomatoes at you! You only have to kill two of them. You only have to kill the 
the front first. And why am I hitting two? I think I'll prepare it for a later upgrade. There you go. If you stand on this, holy snap, the switch activates the dinosaur's face. Why do they have these mechanisms in the dinosaur days? Oh, that, that one gives you like 20, I think. I think it gives you 20. This is weird. Totally not suggestive. I believe, yeah, that's a fossil. Be careful, Sonic! Fire soul! Yeah! I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, really now? Whoa. Holy snap, it's a dinosaur, and you went to the wrong one, you dumbo. As a noisy dinosaur! Look at his tail! Oh, cool! Tail. Remind me of a friend with two of them. He seems pretty hungry. Go! Sorry, I, yeah, with those catapults, sometimes they put bonuses if you don't pull back all the way, you know? That's what she said. What is with the that's what she said? See, that wasn't all the way. But I still didn't make it up to the outside. Or I still didn't make it to the chest. Yay. And there we go. Stage complete. You got a bronze! And you just made it, even though you got hit like twice. You may be going, what, the ring upgraded? Yeah, now we can hold 63! Because 63 is such a useful number. Anyway, this was what I was thinking of when I was constantly pressing 2 while walking backwards. The back step is good because it lets you jump backwards, which is good. New mission! Do something. Save that sound effect me. sounds... judging. Judging? Wah wah wah. King of what? Sorry. Your Highness, where did that spirit go? Just as I feared. He's got to head to that castle. And it seems more minions are being assembled. Castle? castle There's what? a giant fortress just ahead. It's a relic from an ancient king. The girl's voice sounds like the girl who plays Leela in Futurama. <laughs> what? Girl, Leela in Futurama? The girl with the... Why not? No. It sounds like her. Oh no, I don't remember. Anyway, even though we talk of a fortress, we're Sorry. not we're not going there. Yeah, remember what I said about not bringing up anything random? Sorry. You're bringing up something random. You may find that your paycheck is being a bit lacking. So anyway, we're going to equip the back set, but we're still not equipping that pearl collector because we're not going to need it, even though that we could equip it, and it's, but we don't need it. We're doing a die-hard challenge. Dang it, Steve. Really, we'll end the part on this. Well, there are a bunch of rings in there. I should probably stop doing that, yeah. But anyway, now we can hold more rings! Glorious! Getting that fire soul is annoying. Because if, because basically if you touch that, 
you have to start again, and you're not gonna have to fire stuff. I might as well show you that there's a silver ring. 25! Anyway, it's a good looking game. I don't know why people say it doesn't look good. It's good looking. Sega know how to make things look good. Seriously, they, they put it in such an awkward position there. And I'm gonna get it whether it means I live or not. Woo! Dinosaur, it's just raining these iron balls. That's what they're called officially now. Iron balls. Obviously, there'll be no dinosaur. I don't see what the challenge of putting rocks here. I think the challenge of enemies, but. Up that combo. Killing enemies gets you some more points, but it's not terribly necessary. You, know, you don't get too many points. As an experience, by the way. Ah, oh, well, you know, Faisal. Oh, that was close. Also, one thing you can notice is that there's different designs for the enemies in different stages. Yeah. Now they stop you with a tree branch. Oh my gosh. I don't care, I'm gonna do this. That wasn't bad control, that was bad judgment. It's a good game, shut up! I saw whether I live or not. Yeah, I lived. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, my face. Ah, oh, my physics engine. Show off the physics engine in Sonic 06, yeah. With all those box puzzles and those ball puzzles, yeah. How did you not target him? You're targeting him. I don't care about you, flower. Fuck you, flower. Fire soul. You might be wondering, shouldn't there be something that makes Sonic go really fast? Or one that's still more ability that makes Sonic go fast, so just letting you know that. But, I believe, next part, I'm not ending it like right here this second, but next part. Alright, here you go. Charge up and jump, jump, and... There you go, good enough. And... go! Yeah. This is of some cactus dodging. This is of some bad cactus dodging. I 
check this out. Ah, oh, cactus. Oh my gosh, don't die on me. There you go. I'm not gonna die to some cactus. Yeah, I know, right? So anyway, we got some levels. those levels go. So we get five step, that basically means when we're back stepping we'll actually deal damage to enemies, which is good. We also got a new mission. Fun fact. We also got another new mission. And another new mission. That's it. So yeah, I'll see you kids next time. Ugh.